Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And I'm just out here um, checking on my business page that I am live where I would like to be, which hopefully I am. Yep, uh, it looks like I'm good here. I can see the video now. I just need to get things set up quickly so that I can see your comments and see if anybody's joining in today. So, and of course, my computer's decided to to be slow so <laughs> I think I'm getting it set okay good to go looks like I can see comments and um, should be able to see if you join so if you are hopping in to watch the live feel free to say hello if you're watching the replay that is just awesome too I appreciate it no matter uh, when you take a minute to take a look at the video so let me know hey Susan thanks for joining today let me know if you have any questions about anything as we go along um, if you are interested I will be posting all the details about this card including all the cards that cut cuts and the um, different sizes and all the products that I use. Hey, Christine, thanks for joining from Minnesota. I wonder if you got, you're probably colder than we are. It is cold outside here today. It's, the wind is blowing and it's like 28. It's, it's a little frosty here, <laughs> a little chillier than what I'm used to. So, um, hey, Trisha, thanks for hopping in from Colorado too. So, um, so I was saying that um, I will be post posting all the details about this card out on my blog tomorrow. So um, you can see the links to the products as well as find all the cardstock cuts and all that sort of thing. Because I either get them wrong or I forget to say them. So, that <laughs> so that's why I posted it on my blog so you can see it later. So this is the card that we're going to be making today. And normally my cards are pretty speedy. But today may take us a minute longer just because there's a little coloring. And um, kind of it takes a minute to get the dimensions and things stuck on this so that the the flowers stay down and um, look the way I want them to. So, all right, so we will get going. Hey, Nancy, thanks for hopping in. So I'm going to set this aside and um, talk with you quickly about the stamp set. Um, this is the Little Ladybug stamp set, which is a an item that is exclusive for hosts during celebration or if you uh, for individual people who place an order of $300 or greater. Um, this is an awesome little stamp set that you will get for free if you either have a party um, or place an order of $300 or greater. So if you're interested in hosting a little online party, let me know and I'll get you a host code set up and see if we can get you the stamp set for free as well. So, um, and there is a, a set of coordinating dies that will be coming, which we'll talk about in a second, but um, the little ladybug's dies. So if that helps you, <laughs> helps you to decide. Hey, Penny, I'm glad you were able to hop in too. So the dies that we're going to be using today are something that I showed you and talked about, uh, I think two weeks ago when we first found out about them. And um, I told you I was going to make a project with them soon and here it is. So, so there, I did it. <laughs> So this is the Sending Flowers dies, and technically um, this is, Stampin' Up! says that it coordinates with the Sending You Thoughts stamp set from Celebration, but as you can see, this is just a general banner, as well as this could be used for sentiments too, and it really can go with anything. It does not, I mean, I don't feel like this has any one stamp set that it coordinates with specifically, but they say the Sending You Thoughts stamp set, so... That's great. It does coordinate with that, but there are a lot of other stamp sets that'll work with it too. So, hey, Marilyn, thanks for hopping in. So just really quickly before we get going, the coordination product release, these are going to be available beginning February 4th for customers to start ordering and they are while supplies last. Um, there's the Nature's Thoughts dies, the Special Days die, Special Day dies, the Little Ladybug stamps, the Ladybugs dies, I guess I should call them the right name, <laughs> and the Sending Flowers dies. And then on the back there are Birthday dies and then the Please Does Punch Design a Series Paper, which is beautiful. Love the colors in that. Um, I've made a couple things on my blog, so go take a look at it over at stampwithamyk.com. If you haven't seen it yet, there are some, it's really, really pretty paper. So, so those are the coordination products that will be available for purchase beginning February 4th. They're available for demonstrators now to pre-order. So if that is something you are interested in or want to add them as an item in your starter kit, um, right now would be a great time to join. So, um, so I think that, yeah, drop me a note. There's a bunch of bonuses going on with joining as well. And um, we can talk about those more a little bit later, but I'll get started on the card so we can get out of here at some point soon. Hey, Kayla, I'm glad you were able to hop in too. So... Um, all right, so I'm starting with a piece of 2018 to 2020 in color 6x6 six six designer series paper, which is a pack of paper um, that's got all the in colors in it, and it's got different designs on it, but this one in particular is blueberry bushel, and we're going to adhere it to a blueberry bushel card base, and this card base is actually uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'll show you in just one second um, that I used a little different card base on my first card that I made. Um, 
And then the designer series paper is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, so it fits and covers the entire card front. Um, so this one, I actually um, made it so that it opens like this. And then this one's going to be a book fold card. So just wanted to show you that actually the card front does not matter at all. Um, it, it's the exact same card if you prefer the, the book fold cards as opposed to the ones that open, you know, like I'm trying to think of what the term is, tent fold. So, um, so if you prefer the book fold cards, this card base will definitely work. So, all right, so I'm going to set this aside. And um, hey, Jackie, glad that you're here too from the state of Washington. <laughs> I bet you, well, I don't know. Are you guys having any wintry weather out there? Um, we, it's, it snowed here over the weekend and it's cold, man. So um, so I went ahead and pre-cut kind of like I normally do um, some of the things ahead of time to save us a little bit of time and um, a little bit of wiggling on the table. So this is the die that I used from the Sending Flowers dies. And when I initially put it down, I was a little worried that I was going to get it not straight because it's a little hard to tell. This is, you know, it's not a real even <laughs> line of flowers, so I was worried I was going to get it on there all crooked until I realized that Stampin' Up! kindly put their name and the item number on the die. And if you line that up straight across your paper, oh, hopefully I can get it on here. Yep. Okay, so if you line it up straight across your paper, then you're going to end up with a straight set of flowers cut. If you get it on the paper like that, then you see how the the sentiment is kind of down at an angle, you're going to end up with strangely angled flowers. If that's what you're going for, then great. <laughs> that's the look you're going to get. But just know that if, you know, to get it lined up straight across, if you can get this lined up straight, then you're good to go. So, all right, it snowed last week, but uh, today you're sunny in 52. It's freezing here today. It's 28 and the wind is kind of blowing, so it's like kind of that biting cold. So, because um, yeah, I was just out, um, had to go over and get new tires on my car this morning, always exciting, and um, was out walking around in the parking lot, and I'm like, man, it's freezing out here. So, hey, Nancy, glad you were able to join. So, all right, so for the flowers, I just basically colored them with Stampin' Blends markers. And I didn't do like a really fantastically awesome job coloring. There's no blending involved at all on these. Um, so I started with the Dark and the Light Call Me Clover Stampin' Blends. And um, we're just gonna color. Um, and I should have said this to begin with. I don't know if you noticed, I totally stole the inspiration for this card from <laughs> one that Stampin' Up! had made as a sample. And so that's basically what I did is I copied their card because I liked it and uh, thought it was pretty. So, so there, so that's where, you know, I just changed up the colors a little bit. So, um, all right, so I'm going to start with the dark Call Me Clover. And um, for this one, I did the, the, um, I don't know the difference, the petaled flowers. I don't know what the official term is for this type of flower versus the tulip. I know the name of that one, but this is just like a standard issue flower and I don't know the, the official name for it. Um, but we're using the dark call me clover on this type of flower. Maybe I should just go with this type of flower. So, um, hey Jackie, glad you were able to hop in too. So, all right. So I'm doing a little bit of coloring with call me clover, the dark call me clover on this part. Um, on the stem part of the flower, this part, hey, see, I can't color and talk at the same time. Um, on the stem part of the flowers, just doing a little bit of quick coloring. Um, again, um, the in colors, I don't know if I said, hopefully I didn't say it already, but if I did, the in colors are something that's actually a really good thing for you to be stocking up on now while celebration is going on. Um, get those retiring in colors purchased up, get your ink refills and blends and the designer shoes paper and the regular card stock and all that stuff is very good to get during celebration because number one they're guaranteed to be in stock um, or could be back in stock if they go out of stock where if you wait until the retiring list is announced that stuff is usually uh, while supplies last so if you want to be sure to be able to get your uh, retiring in colors um, you'll probably want to start stocking up on them now. And then the other bonus is that you earn celebration goodies um, while you're stocking up on all the stuff that you wanted anyway. So that is my second tip for the day. First one was, you know, how to line up the die. Second one is get your retiring in colors now. <laughs> so um, this is light call me clover and just doing a little, little quick coloring over the stems on the tulips. And if I'm missing comments, I apologize. Oh, Pansy, that's, yeah, see, hey, Danette, glad you were able to hop in. And sorry, I've been missing all these comments because I'm busy looking down and coloring and not paying attention. Um, so, 
Pansy, yes, Karen, you're right. Goodness. <laughs> and um, oh, you're cold in Virginia too, 30 degrees. I bet 30 degrees at the beach is really cold. Um, because yeah, then you got the humidity and all that stuff along with it. So it's cold here, but at least it's not really humid. Like when it, in Atlanta, when it would get cold, it was really cold and it just like went straight through you because it was humid and cold and miserable. Where here, here it's just cold, you know. It's still miserable, but maybe not quite as miserable as being humid and cold. So, all right, um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna color up with, um, this is Dark Lovely Lipstick, and I'm gonna use that to color a couple of the flowers here. So, again, don't forget we got the awesome joining promotion going on. Hey, Denise, thanks for hopping in today. Um, where you actually can purchase the starter kit um, to join as a demonstrator for $99, and you get to pick $125 in uh, product of your choice. So you get whatever you want, and uh, then you're going to get a free mini paper trimmer, a free 6x6 pack of designer series paper, um, and it's a mixed pack of celebration and new occasions or new mini catalog papers as well as a free stamp set of your choice. So it's a nice little joining bonus. So if you're interested in joining as a demonstrator, let me know. I'd love to have you on the team. And um, we got a fun little group of ladies and a good busy Facebook page where we chatter a lot and um, team meetings and all sorts of fun stuff. So if you're interested in joining us as a demonstrator, we would love to have you in our group. So, all right, I've got, I'm using the Dark Mango Melody right now. So Hey, Debbie, thanks so much. Thanks for joining from Indiana as well. So um, again, using Dark Mango Melody to color this in. Uh, color in a couple more of the flowers. All right, we're getting there, I promise. I knew this was gonna take a little while. So hopefully you don't mind listening to me chatter on or feeling free to chatter amongst yourselves as well. As well. And then last color we're gonna use is Dark uh, Pineapple Punch. And just going to do a little coloring on the last couple of flowers here. And then we're done with this part. So, all right, so I try to pick some kind of springy colors against the dark background, so hopefully you like the way that looks. I'm just going to flip it over and start putting some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Whoop. And um, the dog is right next to me chewing on something, so I don't know, the smacking sound is not me, I probably promise. I don't know what she's chewing on over there, but she's making a really a lot of noise. So I'm hoping you can't hear it on the video because it's sort of distracting for me. <laughs> I'm about ready to shoo her out of the room, but I figure I probably shouldn't do that. She's all comfortable laying out on her pillow. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and um, peel the backing off. Hey, Monica from Kentucky. So I'm glad that you like the colors. Yeah, the, again, those are those retiring in colors. So be sure that you're stocking up on those during celebration before the retiring list gets announced. Um, because if those colors, in fact, do retire, which they very likely may, um, those things are usually one of the first things to sell out. So refills for ink and paper and all that stuff you'll definitely want to get um, earlier rather than later, and now is a good time because this stuff will still be in stock. Or if you wait, um, you always risk things not being available. So, all right, so the, I just use the stamp of dimensionals to adhere the flowers to the card front. Um, so pretty simple and quick. And then um, I'm, I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. The card that I originally did, um, I did not put the flowers on, so I don't know if you think, should, should we do the flower overlay on it and see how it looks? Do you like the way it looks, having two, the two flower pieces on it? I guess I put the wrong one on here. Um, so I had originally, I was going to put these on, and now I'm thinking, I don't know if I should. I don't know if they look better. <laughs> so, so there are some little flower dies that are in the, the die set as well. So um, when does the list get announced, Nancy? Um, it I don't know if they've given us an exact date yet. It's usually April, like mid-April time frame, but they haven't given us a date yet, so I don't know exactly when it'll be. So keep an eye out on my blog, and I'll definitely um, announce it as soon as, as I see it. So I don't know. What do you all think? Should I put the flowers on the top or just leave it as it is? I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Originally, I was going to do it, and then I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like it. So, um, But anyway, so just so you know, there are little flower dies that you can layer over the top. And um, does the die go with the stamp set? It's 
designed to go with the Sending You Thoughts Celebration stamp set. But um, as you can see, I use the Little Ladybug stamp set with this. And there are lots and lots of sentiments that'll fit on this banner. There is no stamp set that coordinates with the flowers specifically, um, but the, the banner will fit tons and tons of different sentiments. So, all right, so let's move along. I think we're gonna skip. I was gonna do those flat, little layered flowers, but um, put them on this one. Okay, so Susan tells me she wants me to put them on, so I'll do it. <laughs> All right, I was waiting for somebody to say yes or no on it, and it didn't look like y'all cared, so I was going to say, oh, well, we'll just skip it. All right, so just going to use a couple little glue dots here, and what I've done is sort of lifted, just use my fingers and kind of curled the flowers up just a little bit um, so that when they layer on, they'll sort of stand up a little bit. And then any one of those that I have put a glue dot on like that, I'm definitely going to need a little mini stamp and dimensional for the back of it. Um, because it will stick, the glue dot will make it stick down because there's a hole, obviously, in the center of the flower. So, um, so there, we got the first one done. And do a little glue dot on the Pineapple Punch. Again, lovely lipstick, um, Mango Melody, and Pineapple Punch are the colors that I used on the flowers on here. So we'll go ahead and um, stick a little stamp and Dimensional. Uh, oh, then you can compare them. That Yep, so... See, and this it's a really good die set, I think. It's really cute. I mean, I like the flowers. I like that whoop, that um, you can kind of, you know, create the little cutout. I think it's a really cute set. <laughs> so I say you all definitely need to get it. But you know me. I mean, I'm all about dies. So anything with dies, I'm, yep, sold. <laughs> you don't even have to ask me twice. Sold. <laughs> it has a die set? Okay. <laughs> so, but uh, it's it's a really cute set. So... I think, you know, like I said, I think y'all need to get it. Um, but I think y'all need all of these coordinating products too, though, because there are some really, there's some good stuff, very, very good stuff in this, um, the round of uh, coordinating products that will start here you know, on February 4th. So, all right, just again, just working on sticking these little flowers on over the top of the ones that are already there. And a few of the littler ones on. And I don't think I probably need to put dimensionals under those, but I wanted them under the bigger ones um, just so that they stayed up and off the... Whoop, i got to roll up that glue dot just a little. Um, so that they stayed up and off the base of the card because, yeah, I just think it'd look a little weird if they were stuck down, <laughs> stuck down in the middle. So, all right. And that's the final little flower here. Um, there are tulip dies as well. Uh, I guess I should pull the die set back out. Um, but there are tulips that you can also die cut and layer over the top of the tulips that are here. Um, but anyway, so that's the that's the look. That's the layered look of the flowers. So you guys can compare notes after we get done. I'll put them side by side so you can let me know which one you like better. And then I'm just going to use a little pearl, hopefully, if I can get it to stay still while I push it down. Um, one of the smallest pearls that we've got here in the pack fits almost perfectly in the center of all of these little flowers. Um, so it hides the hole in the middle and hides your adhesive, which is a nice little bonus. Um, for the smaller flowers, it, you don't necessarily need to worry so much about getting it placed right in the cent whoop, center because, well, except you don't want it all crazy like that one that I just tried to stick on and scooted it instead of sticking it. Um, come on. There we go. See, I say it's going to be quick, and the things that should go fast, I end up fumbling around. There we go. One more, and I'll try to aim it and get it on here straight and get done with this. Okay, Whew, done. <laughs> All right, so those are the flowers, and I actually think that I'm kind of liking, kind of liking the layered flower look a little bit better, so, um, wouldn't have thought of using the dimensionals. So yes, I think, like I said, I think definitely under the ones in the, the center, the larger flowers, you definitely need to put some dimensionals under. Otherwise your glue dots will have it stuck to the back of your card. And I don't like the look of that personally. So that's just me. So, All right, so I went ahead again um, and cut and stamped the uh, sentiment. Came from the Little Ladybug stamp set. I just used the Happy Birthday. And then I die cut it with the banner die and then cut a piece of Whisper White. This is Whisper White cardstock. Cut a piece of the, with the scallop die and then cut out the sentiment with the banner die. Um, and hopefully you can see that I kind of cut it off center and that was actually on purpose because I'm going to be trimming the edge of this off. So I didn't want it to be look all off center after I was done trimming. So I'm going to use a little bit of snail to adhere the two pieces together. Hey, Suzanne, I'm glad that you like it. So a little bit of snail. It's a, it's a good die set, and it's really, I mean, it's way easier to use than what you think it will be. I, I will say that when you initially look at it, you're like, 
oh, that seems really fussy and like a big pain to use, and it's really not. It's it's very easy to use. Um, and this is just, you know, the, the background is just one pass through the die cutting machine and it's done. So there's no fiddling and messing. You can just color it and be done with it. Um, or you can cut some additional pieces like I did and um, make it a little bit layered up. So, um, so what I did was I adhered with a little bit of snail, the two pieces together. And then because I didn't like the way it looked with this sort of scallop hanging off the edge, I just took my snips up under it and trimmed it out. And so we've got that part done. Then I'm going to take some linen thread and wrap it around the panel here a couple times. The banner, I guess it is, not a panel. And Jeannie just, the dog just came running back in here for some reason. Who knows? <laughs> I feel like she's kind of, I don't know, she's, she's all sort of nervous or something today. So she's kind of running and pacing around in here and chewing and licking and, I don't know, just being a dog, I guess. So... Like I said, all those strange noises, I swear it's not me, I promise. <laughs> so, all right, I wrapped the linen thread around um, three or four times, and then we're just going to tie a little bow here, hopefully, um, on the side with the linen thread. And if you, again, if you're making comments, I'm sorry, I can't, ugh, I should be able to look at the, the comments <laughs> and do all this at the same time, but I haven't mastered that skill yet. So, okay, so that is our... Um, most of our, the way our sentiment is going to look. And then for the edge of it, I actually wanted it, even with the edge here, I was going to trim it off. Um, the way that I made sure that I got it straight was I actually cut straight through the center of the holes in, in the die cut. So if you line it up like this and cut right down the middle, that should, should, <laughs> being the mean, the key thing, which of course I did not cut it straight down the middle. Um, I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. See, this is why I can't fussy cut, because I can't even cut a straight line. <laughs> That's why I need dies for everything. So, um, Your dog is acting a little goofy today, too. Okay, well, I'm glad it's not just Ginny. She's, she's been running, and like I said, she seems, she's all sort of nervous and whatever <laughs> today. So she's running around a little bit, and I don't know if she's expecting the UPS guy to show up, because he usually shows up around this time of the day. So I don't know if she's out, you know, kind of pacing and looking for him or what she's doing exactly. So, all right, so a couple Stampin' Dimensionals on the back, and then we are going to line this up here and adhere it, hopefully, straight to the card front. All right, and that is it for the card front. So, um, Hopefully you like it. Like I said, it's it's a really it's a pretty die set, really easy to use. So I don't want you to be afraid of it because it does. Like I said, it looks a little intimidating, but it's definitely not. It's very very easy to use. Um, for the inside of the card, kept it real simple and just did a little strip of the 2018 2020 in color designer series paper. And again, this is blueberry bushel that I'm using here, and it's a half inch wide. And whoop, I knew I was putting that on there crooked. There we go. Hopefully we can get it. Yep, straightened out this time. Um, trimmed off the extra here. And we're going to adhere it to the inside of the card. Oh, she needs to get some good treats. Okay, well, I know where I can get some good treats. Um, and she certainly knows who brings her the good treats. So, you know, <laughs> anytime. I'm sure she'd be, she'd be more than happy to see you, and so would I. So, you know, we know where the good treats come from. <laughs> <laughs> so just adhering that on the inside with a little bit of snail. And then, whoop, I forgot to grab my bone folder. We're going to give that a little crease here along the edge. And so that is the card share for today. So um, again, did this one with the layered flowers. And this one's got the not layered flowers. And looking at them side by side, whoops, although I'm missing a pearl. One of my pearls came undone. Stick that back on here, hopefully. There we go. All right. So looking at them side by side, I actually feel like I like the one that's layered a little bit better. I don't know what y'all think about it, but um, so, and Karen's going to be placing another order today. Well, I am happy to hear that, and I'm always happy to help you. You know, anything that you need to order, I'm always happy to say yes. <laughs> so uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything, and uh, thanks again for hopping in today. And I know the video ran a little longer than normal, so hopefully you didn't mind hearing me ramble on. Um, have a great rest of your Tuesday. I will plan to see you all again next week. Um, thanks so much. I appreciate your comments. And again, I appreciate you uh, spending a little bit of your day with me. Have a good afternoon.